Hi, this is Rex Carden with the University of Alabama at Birmingham, and today I'm going to be talking some more about Asapi X, which is an open source library on GitHub. You can see it here at github.com forward slash Rex Carden forward slash Asapi X. And this is an extension library for the Eclipse scripting API. It adds some power, uh, some extension methods, and uh, just some basic frameworks to help you get started when you're developing Eclipse scripting apps. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to quickly hook up um, the Asapi X framework so you can do multi-threading. And multi-threading in this case works a lot easier than it used to. Um, I think you're really going to like it. It's basically full on async and await support. So let's get started. So go ahead and open up Visual Studio. And then let's make a new project. This is going to be a console application. And let's call it Asapi, Asapi X Demo. And then we want to immediately put in the Asapi X framework. So right click the references, manage NuGet packages, browse, type in Asapi, search for that. You should see Asapi X 13.6, and you can just click install. That comes with a lot of other libraries. Just accept those, and it's going to install all of those references needed in your project. So normally, when you were uh, getting an application, you would you would say something like var app equals you know application create application. But the problem here is. I, I don't want my project to know anything about the Eclipse DLLs and currently they are not linked and I am not going to link them so how do we get around that we're gonna build a separate project the reason why I don't want to link it is because I want to be able to take this home and fill in those facades with um, anything that I want so I could uh, generate fake data and test my application without having to be connected to the real um, database but when I'm at work I'll just add this extra little project and it's really gonna be small I'm gonna make a class library let's call it VMS linker or link how about that we'll make our class called VMS linker we have a little class here I'll call it VMS linker oops I don't want that little tilde in there VMS linker and it's gonna have one function it's going to generate well before I do that I better add the bootstrapper so this is really all the this the only class that's gonna be in here is this VMS linker so let's do references manage NuGet packages let's do this again search for a SAPI this time we are not going to put the SAPI X 13.6 we're gonna put the SAPI X bootstrapper the bootstrapper is designed to link up the Varian DLLs with the SAPI X specifically for this purpose so it can be used in a separate project and um, it makes it where your original project doesn't have to know anything about um, ARIA or the Eclipse um, the proper DLLs the way that you do this is you'll say you'll make a little static method here and it returns an application and not a VMS application but an Asapi X facade application so you'll say get app return. We'll actually make a bootstrapper. Sapi X bootstrapper. It's called VMS bootstrapper. And I just made this class just so it's easy. You don't have to type very many lines of code. And you want to do generate facade app. That requires a username and password. So instead of typing in my username and password right here, Let's let me make a uh, I'll make a little side class here, just for the purposes of this video. Call it credential. Username.
and let me pause this for a second. All right, so now I can just use the credential class to put my username and password. And this is ready to go. It's ready to generate that application for our our real application. So our VMS link project, that's all there is to it. You literally have one class and it's just going to initialize my bootstrapper and send that send an application generated back to um, wherever you need it to go. What's happening behind the scenes here is it's, it's going to wire up all of the different methods and constructors so that when you're playing with a facade class it's actually calling the real um, variant classes. So we need to add this project to our references. Let's click our SAPX demo and under the projects we can just click VMS link and so now we can use that that app. Before we do anything we should probably go to the configuration manager and make sure this is all running in 64-bit architecture so we don't have any problems. It needs to be running in 64-bit. Alright, so let's get our app going here. So we'll say app equals, what's that called? VMS link, VMS linker, get app. So that's that little method we just made. Notice that we did not need to put this in here. Normally when you're building an application that uses the Varian uh, DLLs, you have to run it in an SDA uh, single apartment thread. And you do not have to do this when you're working with the facades in a SAPI X. It's all going to take care of all the threading for you. So just to show you that we're actually connected to a real app, let's uh, write a line current user ID. So it'll just show us, the first line will show that I'm connected. In fact, let's make it a little more obvious. And I'm using this uh, dollar syntax. This comes with Visual Studio 2015. If you don't have that installed, you can't use that syntax. You have to use string.format instead. Okay, and then let's do what we're, what we're really here to see, and that's multi-threading by default. So what you can do is let's make a little method here, and we'll say git patient async. Let's make this little method here. And instead of making a local variable, let's make this a, a variable of this program class. And what our get patient async method is going to do is it's going to be, first of all, asynchronous. And we are going to make a patient and we're going to run it from a from a task using the task parallel library. So the way you can do that is you can say await task.run oops close return app open patient by ID and then I've got a patient I think that's it so whenever this is done running it's gonna send back a patient and then whenever it's done doing that Let's write line patient dot last name patient dot first name found. Okay, so this is going to run asynchronously. Notice also this task dot run. It's going to run on some thread, and I don't even know what thread it's going to run on, and I don't care. So this is how you normally would interact with uh, C sharp objects, and you can't do that easily with if you do, if you're not using Asapi X as your backing library for uh, Eclipse development. So it's going to run this asynchronously, and whenever it's done, it's going to write the patient last name and first name to the console. So let's see if it works. So we should see. <laughs> all right that's funny um, 
so that didn't work. Um, the reason why that didn't work, let me show it to you again so you can see it crash in case this happens to you. So it's going back behind the scenes here and saying, wait a second, I don't see any VMS um, libraries. And that was the design for this project. We don't want any VMS libraries. There's none in here. But the VMS link project needs to see the libraries. Otherwise, it can't link them up. So I missed that step. We need to add those um, VMS DLLs to the linker. Now I'll be able to link it up whenever it tries to run. So let's try that again. And there we go. You can see it says that we're connected and then it shows our um, our patient last name and first name which has this ID. Um, it says that they were found. Okay, So this has a lot of implications to it. It means that you no longer have to be thinking about your your threads when you're developing uh, these applications and you can do it asynchronously pretty easily. This also works with the old iScript context. I say the old, it's, it's the part of Asapi X that was uh, originally in a different YouTube video. And I'm going to make another video to show how to use it now with facades. Um, it's a little bit more straightforward and you, again you don't have to think up the threading anymore. All right. Hopefully that is going to help you develop some apps.